Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Thursday the 7th of December. In this video we're going to look at two UK and two US stocks. In the UK we're going to look at Glencore and British Land and in the States we're going to look at Google and Noble Energy. Let's look at those charts. So starting with Glencore and you can see that um, it broke into new high ground on this weekly. Um, this is a weekly chart so each candle represents one week's trade but um, there was a non-confirmation as you can see on the RSI as we went into the new high. So we've now come back. Uh, there's been a consolidation and uh, nearly found support at the 50 week. Uh, moving average before moving back up but as you can see still down on this week momentum has turned negative the RSI 48 spot 25 and that's confirmed as the MACD short term turns below the longer term moving on to the daily picture and here you can see that we found support on the 200 day moving average uh, yesterday's formation was also in, in a, a bullish engulfing picture uh, with the whole body encompassing the, the previous day's body which is positive so there's no surprise that uh, today we've got a green body as well and really one would expect a further move up but we must look at that four hour because there's going to be resistance there I know it before we even get there um, the moving averages you can see 20 has tracked down below the 50 that was a bearish cross and uh, will cause resistance on the upside as we get up to the 350 level rsi is uh, showing negative momentum presently down at 33 spot 5 perhaps a double bottom there if we could bounce from there it, that would be a bullish picture and which would indicate that we were going up to test the resistance between 350 360 but there's no such sign at the moment from the MACD which is solidly in a downtrend okay uh, moving on to the four hour and here as I said there is resistance um, straight away from the downtrend in 24 hour average uh, that's at 3.39 spot 5.4 and has actually caused resistance in this last uh, couple of hours. So be aware of that. We need to break through that if we want to then get up to towards the 3.50. But again, the RSI is indicative that we are base building. It's moving up, still showing negative momentum. It's only at 38.32, but is starting to create a short term uptrend. Um, on the um, likewise on the MACD the short term has got back above the longer term now which is a positive sign but although obviously they are well below zero um, but there's start starting to show signs that we could have a little short term rally which could take us up to the 350 360 level moving on to British land uh, looking at the longer term uh, you can see we've broken above the uh, the resistance of the downtrend in 50 week and now it looks like we're, we're going up to the next resistance level which is seen at the 675 level got very positive momentum on this chart RSI 62 spot 11 and the short term MACD just moved back above zero um, confirming that upside momentum on the daily um, you can see we've moved uh, solidly upwards. We've had bullish uh, golden crosses, 20 crossing the 50, 20 crossing the 200. So they will give solid support on any consolidation. Looks like we're going to test the resistance that we had from June. Uh, that sh takes us up to 650, break above there, and we will see the next resistance, 670, 675 being tested. Perhaps the RSI is indicative of slightly overbought at the moment, 77 spot 39, but that's just a sign of the solid momentum and um, that momentum should keep the stock moving upwards. 
and that momentum is confirmed by the MACD tracking upwards and well above zero. On the four hour picture, very similar. Uh, we did have a flag that found support at the 20 average and then we've moved up. Uh, any other consolidation will find support at those moving averages as they move up. Uh, it was positive that on the high uh, yesterday we did have a, uh, a new high on the RSI as well in, in indicating that solid momentum. MACD short term has just tracked down below the long term. Just keep your eye on those. Uh, they should move back up quite shortly. Okay, moving over to the States and looking at Google. Now, the charts on Google, looking at all the fangs, Facebook, Apple, Netflix and Google, the charts are all looking quite similar. I've, I've, I've highlighted Google today, but uh, what I'm saying on Google does correspond to what's happened in, in uh, Facebook and Apple as well. And what we've seen is we've had a little consolidation at these high levels. Uh, that's allowing the um, RSI to unwind. There was a non-confirmation on the high last week on the RSI. Uh, it was below the peaks that we saw back in May, so be aware of that. And this slight loss of upside momentum is also indicated with the MACD, although the short term is still above the long term, but the differential has narrowed. On the daily, you can see that we pull back to the rising 50 day moving average that gave support uh, which was positive however the 20 has rolled down uh, and that will now give resistance so we're, get, we're likely over the next uh, few trading sessions to get this pincer formation between the 20 and the 50. we will break obviously eventually in one direction and that will be the key. Which direction are we going to break? Uh, momentum um, looks like it's being lost. You can see a downtrend on the RSI. It's obviously bounced with the last couple of days uh, rally, but that's only taken us back to 50. If we were to come off, it could be that momentum that takes us through the support of that rising 50 day. And that's indicated by the MACD the short term has gone below zero and they are tracking downwards. So indicating that some downside momentum is now coming into this Google picture. So be aware of that. And moving on to the, um, the four hour, the short term, you can see that we've got uh, uh, immediate resistance from the downtrend in 20 and 50 day moving averages. They've also created a bearish cross, so will be a dominant feature, uh, especially in today's trading. Be a, keep your eye on those. If we can break back above the 50, which would be at 10.43 spot 06, that could be positive and push us up towards the resistance above 10.60. But my inclination is that, that we won't break above there. They're going to track further down and push us down below the supports that we had a couple of days ago in the uh, 10.08 uh, to 10 level. Momentum again uh, slightly negative, RSI 48 and those MACD are tracking uh, below zero as well. Okay, moving on to the last stock of today, that's Noble Energy. Uh, quite a feature in the energy stocks yesterday in the States, they, they all came off. Um, you can see that uh, we've gone back below the 20-week the moving average. That's moving down and will be a negative influence on this stock. Uh, momentum is negative as we track sideways below 50, 41 spot 21, and the MACD as well. Um, although the short term is above the long term, uh, it looks like it's going to go back down and they are below zero. On the daily, uh, you can see that um, we did rally up to the moving averages. Um, they are tracking down and our negative influence. The 20 day is at uh, 26.51, um, just above spot and that was the negative influence yesterday. You can see we've got these supports around 25.40. 
um, but the momentum is turning negative. The RSI has gone back below 50, 41.93. So one would expect these supports to be tested. And again, the, the MACD are trading down below zero. Short term is above the long term, but um, it, just another down day and that will switch round. And finally, looking at the, uh, the four hour picture, Again, we're tracking below the moving averages. Uh, they're moving down, including the 200. Um, actually, the 20 is moving up, uh, but we are below it. That will roll again and could give the downside momentum. Any consolidation here would create actually a head and shoulder. Be aware of that, which would be a bearish formation. So if we're going to have a rally, it needs to be quick and it needs to get us above the 27 level in the short term to stop that uh, potential head and shoulder. RSI again showing negative momentum, 41.56, and the MACD are down below zero again. So overall on Noble, um, slightly negative. Google again, slightly negative. Very key the next couple of days trading there. Uh, which way will it break on that pincer formation between the 20 and the 50? Glencore we saw is having a short term bounce. Um, should take it up to the resistance level that I indicated. And on British land, that looks okay. Uh, if there's a consolidation, it'll be short term and we expect to move up to the next resistance level. I hope you found the video of interest. I know when I cover four stocks in one video, I talk a lot and it's all very quick. You can always rewind to the specific stock that you're interested in and uh, review it yet again. Thanks for watching. Please remember these videos that I do on YouTube are for information only and they're not an investment recommendation.